Hello and welcome. The T-72 is a Soviet main battle tank which entered production in 1969. It was developed based off the T-64. About 25,000 T-72 tanks have been built and additional modifications have allowed it to remain in service for decades. It has been widely exported and has seen service in 40 countries and in numerous conflicts. Even though it has been replaced by many armies that use the T-72, there are still a lot in active use. But especially since the war in Ukraine, a lot of T-72s have been shredded into pieces from both sides. So the question often comes up, is the T-72 still a viable tank? And in today's video, we're gonna answer that question. So enjoy this. The T-72 is a very good main battle tank for poor countries and smaller groups. Also, the T-72 has been used by over 40 countries and is still in use today, so you can expect that there must be something good about it. And there is, because any tank is better than no tank. You can use the T-72 in many different ways. Upgraded and modernized versions are capable of engaging other armored vehicles, while early T-72s can be used well for infantry support and mobile firepower. It can also be used as some sort of artillery support like the T-54 or 55s in Ukraine right now. It can be modified pretty easily and it's also very reliable. Also, people got very creative when it came to how they could use the even older T-72s. I'll give you a few examples. Here we have an engineering vehicle on a T-72 chassis. Here we have a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun on its chassis. Here we have a mine roller version and an armored bridge layer on the T-72 chassis. But besides that, you can't forget what the T-72 was actually designed for. A lot of people generally think that Russian and Soviet tanks are bad. The success of a tank is not determined by what people think, but by whether it achieves the goals it was built for. In the case of the T-72, pretty much all goals were achieved. The Soviet general staff's requirements were tough to be met. They wanted it to have good firepower, protection and mobility, as well as good reliability, range and the ability to march long distances on its own. And then the most important thing, it needed to be cheap enough to be produced in high quantities. These goals were met and a total of 25,000 T-72s were built. Since this tank was first produced in the early 1970s, it had significantly better armor, a more powerful gun and better mobility than their western counterparts. Generally you could say that the T-72 has about 80% of western MBT's capabilities, but just for a fraction of the price. Western tanks cost a lot more than the Soviet tanks, while not really bringing a corresponding advantage. So the answer is yes, the T-72 is still a viable tank and can be used in modern warfare against other tanks, artillery support or as infantry support, or in one of the many other ways that we've talked about in the beginning of this video. Now, before I end this video, I want to say that I just answered the question in the video title. I'm not trying to make the T-72 look better or greater than it is. There are a lot of upsides as well as downsides to the T-72 tank. I just wanted to make that clear. Anyways, that was all I had to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you think I said anything that is not right or you think I should have added any additional information to this video, please let me know in the comments and share your knowledge. Besides that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.